Hi everybody, so I haven't updated in like a really really long time and it's not because I don't have any videos, it's more that I haven't had any time to edit them and um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because, well, maybe you can see the big box behind me I'm leaving my apartment uh, here in Japan and I'm also unfortunately leaving Japan for this time around because my exchange in Japan has ended but you know and I'm really really sad to leave because I love being here not only the country but I love all the people I've met and I have a lot of amazing experiences here and and basically yeah, I just hate leaving places you know because no matter where it is if you've been there for a long time it's always your kind of home. I mean this apartment, as small as it may be, is my home. Or oh, it was my home. <laughs> now my home will be back in Denmark again. But as I said, I'll only be leaving Japan for now. I'll be back pretty soon I think. Maybe not this year. Could be. But at least I think I'll be back next year. Maybe even several times and the most important thing is that I will be living permanently here in Japan as um, as soon as I graduate university which is unfortunately in another two years but two years actually passes by very very fast don't they? <laughs> I really hope so because not only am I eager to live in Japan full-time permanently without having to worry about when I am going to leave and such. More importantly like I shouldn't buy this because I can't bring it home or my luggage is going to be too heavy and all that sort of boring stuff. I also want to end my long-distance relationship with my husband which we have been carrying on for now two and a half years. I'm I'm getting to a point where I'm really, really tired of saying goodbye and I feel ready to actually start a more permanent lifestyle. I mean, the last few years of my life has been, I mean, I have been living way too many places and I need something permanent, not just for a year or two years. I need somewhere I can call my home. Well, anyway. I will be back in Japan and and I really want to live here in Shogo Prefecture in the future, especially Kobe, Kobe City. I really like it here, but if not possible, I want to live somewhere between Akashi and Amagasaki. I'm not sure if I want to enter Osaka Prefecture. <laughs> well, anyway. There is actually a reason for me to be making this video today even though I have all these other videos that I want to upload like from Korea and certain places in Japan Anyways, well, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm leaving this apartment tomorrow afternoon so I thought that I should show you guys it. I mean, for some reason I never got around to showing my apartment here in Japan. So this is the last chance to do it. <laughs> so I'll do a very, very quick tour. It's very, very small because it's a student apartment, a typical student apartment here in Japan. Not a dormitory, but it doesn't change that much, I think, anyway. So let's get to it. So this is the entrance. I used to have a whole pile of shoes here but yes I am packing my things up. A shoes, cabinet and other storage. Um, and I now very empty refrigerator and our now very empty kitchen. As you can see there's only one hot plate so we had to buy another one because it's hard for me to make food with only one hot plate. Well, 
anyways anyways and now to the smallest toilet I've ever had to use toilet and bathroom <laughs> because you know um, we call it the camping car and I actually think it's a very good name for it oh and I when I went to Kanazawa and all those sorts of places I've been more north of Japan I crashed my camera so this is my new one I mean I figured that I love taking pictures and videos so I should actually buy a proper camera so this is the one and moving into the main part my now very empty living room my futon me and my husband's futon but he's not around he went to work and the most important thing you can have in a Japanese home an air conditioner both in the summer and the winter because the summers are extremely hot and the windows is not that cold but Japanese houses are not that well isolated so the houses get really really cold um, my handbook dress I bought in Korea and my now very very empty bookshelf just a few days ago this was filled with um, Japanese, Korean and Chinese books <laughs> Now it just feels so empty. And some of my moving things, I actually have another box, but I hid it. My very pink curtains and my not interesting view. Another wall. This is so Japan. You can see some part of. Nah, you can't. Nope, just a wall. Yes. And my closet very typical Japanese I guess and me trying to squeeze in six months of life in Japan into one suitcase not working that well and my table and chairs yes I and a door phone so just need to get my keys I live on the third floor. And yeah, this is the view I see when I leave my house. This. It's a very typical Japanese area in the city. Because even though this is not Kobe Center, it's still Co part of Kobe City. So, yeah, anyway. Here's a Lawson. In Japan, you have to have a convenience store on every corner. If I go straight this way, there will be a big shopping center and a train station. And, but I will go this way. shop and a McDonald's east meets the west and the only thing I can smell right now is McDonald's I guess I'll go up this way and here is a kindergarten since this weekend not really kids out I guess a regular um, suburban area I guess this one more heavily populated suburban area but there's a lot of those in Japan anyway <laughs> um, I live in a really really good place because I live in the middle of three uh, big train stations which has eight minutes walk to all three of them. Um, the Hanshin line and the Hankyu line and JR line. So 
this is awesome. And what I like about Kobe, as you can see, further ahead, is that on one side we have the mountains, and of course we have a big building, but in this side there is the ocean somewhere. Basically, a really quiet area, <laughs> but I really like it here. So I'm very, very sad that this will be probably my last stroll here. And the Jiro line. It's been fun knowing you, Japan, for the, like the tenth time or something. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon.